when Triana was born, I was told that she probably would not live throughout the night. It was pretty dramatic. I didn't get to see her. She was there 16 days in ICU. I had to look at her through a television screen in the hospital. It was devastating. I had a lot of people around me who were hopeful and prayerful. We were all just rooting for her to make it. Come over here, Triana. Let me see your dress. I had a story to tell at a very young age, overcoming cardiovascular disease. I survived my health issues for a reason. I've always had a connection to people. She's had a fighting spirit since she was born. It's hard to pinpoint one moment exactly. There's a moment where I had this dream when I was a little girl that I would sing on stage in a red dress. Well, when I got to Miss America, I was singing my talent song in a red dress. And it was the actual vision that I had when I was a little girl. At the end of the song, I heard her voice give. And I looked to my side and said, is she crying? Well, when I talked to her later on, she said, yes, I started crying at the end because I realized my vision came through. I was thinking, this is my moment. This is it. This is the dream. And ever since then, I've been advocating to live with purpose. If you want something, if you want to accomplish something, if you have a dream and you wake up thinking about it and you go to bed thinking about it, go for it. Don't let anyone get in the way. I'm very proud of Triana. She has accomplished so much. She was this little girl who wasn't supposed to survive. And she's made history just pursuing a dream and embracing who she is. She didn't even have to go to Miss USA for me to be proud of her. I would have been proud of her anyway because she's worked very hard to be who she is and to get where she is. I knew from a very early age that I was destined for something I had a purpose to fulfill that God had given me. I was here for a reason, and that reason is to be a voice for people who are underrepresented. And that's being an advocate for bridging the great cultural divide. I've already traveled over 75,000 miles and spoken to over 100,000 people, students, adults, organizations. Triana grew up knowing that she was this person with a multifaceted background. Bridging the cultural divide for her was something that was personal. It was born out of her own experiences. I'm living my platform every single day, and because I'm living my platform, that's what pushes me to keep going. The future for Triana is limitless. We look at her, and we're proud of her. And I hope that she's proud of herself. Her strength makes us strong as well. When I think about the Chickasaw Nation, it's a culture of strengths a push for togetherness, and being an overcomer. And as somebody who tries to bridge the great cultural divide daily, I am strong, I'm a unifier, and I'm an overcomer because I am Chickasaw.